So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to test a normal 12 volt ATX power supply unit from a computer using a digital multimeter. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey name tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill, my tech helping you go from newbie to techie. Okay, disclaimer first, this is going to be an advanced tutorial. Regardless, any electronic repair does carry some risk, so please do at your own cost, otherwise consult a professional if unsure. This is also a standalone tutorial on my uh, troubleshoot series. You can see the details in the description below and the card above. I have done a tutorial similar to this using a laptop uh, charger. And I also did a first part of this tutorial when a dead PC was not turning on. Again, link below and card above. Where we tested a power supply using a pin method. However, that test will not show whether the power supply is giving the right voltage to the computer. And uh, if your power supply isn't giving the right voltage, it will cause all sorts of problems, including you know not turning on or turning on and switching off after a few seconds or even taking a few components down. In some cases, your computer will even turn on, but it may keep rebooting within in the middle of you doing an uh, operation. So let's go on with it. So first thing you're going to need a couple of things like a pin. This is a metallic conductive pin. This is actually paper clip which I've bent into kind of a U shape. You can use anything metallic, right? Next thing you can need, of course, is a power supply. If you want to see how to take this out of a motherboard, see my other video, or I'm gonna put a link to a different video. And of course, you're going to need a digital multimeter. Now, this is Mastec MS8268, bought from Amazon for about 22 pounds. I'm gonna leave a link below in the description. It's gonna be an affiliate link, so if you buy through my link, I will get a small kickback and it won't cost you anything extra. You can, of course, choose any other make and model of a digital multimeter, but these ones are auto ranging, and uh, which means you don't have to mess with the voltage, especially for beginners, it's brilliant. So before you proceed, make sure you're grounding yourself work on a non-static electrical, uh, sorry, non, on a non-static uh, surface like wood is fine. Uh, first thing, unplug and switch off everything. We're going to first test the plug to make sure the correct voltage is coming in through from the mains. And uh, here we've got three pins, which is the new, let me just zoom that in. You've got the neutral, earth and live. We're going to test neutral and live. Now in UK, uh, down a bit. In UK, the uh, average voltage range between 216.2 to 253 volt, but the average is about 230 or 240, and it will vary during the day. There's a tolerance of minus 6% to plus 10%. But let's see what we get. Now on your digital multimeter, turn the dial to the AC voltage, which is V with a squiggly line on this model, right? You will have different um, dials on different makes and models, okay? So next thing, let's put this down here, is you're going to make sure that you place the black probe into the neutral part and the right probe, we're going to place it into the live part. And if everything's okay, it's giving us a reading of 241.8, which is perfect. It's within a decent range. So I am now okay with getting the right voltage into this plug. Okay, next thing what we're going to do, put that on the side. We are going to take our power supply, which is currently still disconnected and unplugged. And on the power supply, you're going to see there is 24 pins and they are color coded. There are some power supplies which will have only 20 pins and uh, they are blue, orange, green, black, there's a gray, uh, some more reds and black. And on the other side there is yellow, orange, uh, there's a purple, gray, black, red, uh, another black, red, black and uh, orange to finish off with. So we're gonna use this chart here I'm going to put a link below in the description and this chart shows us two different power supply the left one is for a 20 pin connector and the right one is for a 24 pin connector and each color coded connector has a different voltage so there's positive and negative 
and uh, the black ones are ground. The green one is to create a bridge between one of the black and the green and that to turn the power supply on. The grey one is for power good. It measures voltage coming in and it tells the computer that all the voltage is okay. So we're not going to be testing for that one. But the rest is a combination of 3.3 uh, volts, 12 volts and 5 volts, both positive and negative. Okay, so before you turn the power supply on, grab your metal pin. Okay, hold that. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to uh, place one side of the pin into the green and the other side into any black. You could literally choose any black that you want. I'm choosing this side for convenience, but there's also black on the other side and that's totally up to you if you want to do that. Right, so make sure you do this with everything switched off and unplugged, right? And although this metal is not dangerous, I would not advise touching it just to be safe. Right, so with the power supply switched off we're going to plug it in and if the power supply is working once you turn the switch on you see the fan spinning and we can see the fan spinning so we're all good so now we can proceed with the testing okay so what you're going to do now is you're going to select the DC voltage which is the V with the straight line underneath Okay, and you're going to use the black probe to plug into one of the black ports, which is the first one from this end. And I'm gonna, my assistant is going to hold it and we're going to take some reading, hopefully. We're going to follow this chart and from the end, it's going to be, we're going to be reading from there, which is the ground. So the next one we're going to read is the... Uh, red the three reds at five volts each and we're going to work our way up and then we're going to the, we're going to do the other side so let's go for it so plugged on ac no, sorry plugged on dc and we're going to test the next one is a red i'm expecting five point something volt 5.14 yeah there's a tolerance of plus or minus four percent and it's well within the range so if you get anything between 4.8 to 5.2 is fine right next one and the red again, 514, perfect. Next one, 514 again, perfect. Next one is the gray, I'm going to avoid that. Next one is the black, you don't need to do this. Next one is black again, no need to do this. These two are being uh, bridged. So we move on again, the one after is black, so no need. And the one before loss is the blue. Now the blue is giving me negative 11.92. My chart says it should be about negative 12. That's perfect. So the range here is going to be 11.52 to 12.48. So that's perfect. And last is the orange. And we're getting a reading of 3.381. And the range should be between 3.168 to 3.432. Because this is a 3.3 volt uh, test. So perfect. So this side, everything is okay. Now we're going to switch to the other side. And to make it easy, my assistant is going to switch hands and making sure you're still not touching that. And we're going to plug the probe into one of the black ones. We're going to use uh, the one just next to this one. Okay, so this one. Right. Got it. Let's move this here so you can see the voltage. Okay, down a bit here. That's it. So. <clears throat> right. We are testing from the top, that should be 12 volt or range. No, sorry, my bad. Should be 3.3 volt or range. So we've got 3.3 A1, perfect. Next is the yellow, should be five. Sorry, it should be 12, 12.12, 12 that's perfect. Next, under the yellow should be 12 something. Yep, 12.13. The purple should be positive five. Yep, yeah, positive five. Gray, we don't need to do. Black, we don't need to do. Red, 5.14, perfect. Next to the black, we don't need to do. Next one is the red, 5.14 again, excellent. And then black, we don't need to do. Orange, 3.38, excellent. And the last one, 3.38.
excellent and that's how you test a multimeter now don't touch anything make sure you switch off you can take the probe off switch off everything so this was how you test a power supply using a digital multimeter and it's an advanced uh, testing so make sure you take your precautions and there is a further test we can do whilst plugging this onto a motherboard to test whether the motherboard is getting the correct voltage which i'm going to do in a future video so thank you so much for watching this was ash from me my tech helping you go from newbie to techie you know what to do down below until next time peace out